Hi everyone. This term at All Kids, we were meant to be looking at people in the Old Testament. That means people in the Bible who come before Jesus. And there are a lot of people in the Old Testament. I'm right at the start of the New Testament now, and look how big this part of the Bible is. There are a lot of people there. And we're not going to look at all of them, but we're going to pick out a few that you might have heard of before, and we're going to talk about them. So this week, we're going to be talking about Noah. Noah was a righteous man. Righteous just means that he did the right thing. He was righteous because he walked faithfully with God. He did what God asked him to do. When Noah was alive, the world was corrupt. It was full of evil people who did the wrong thing. God saw how bad the people on earth were. And he was upset. God told Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. God told Noah to build an ark, which is like a big boat. And because Noah does what God tells him to do, Noah built a big boat. And people thought he was really silly. Noah lived a really long way from the ocean. He lived pretty much in a desert. And people thought it was really silly for him to be building a big boat. They didn't think that there would be any need for someone who lived where they lived to have a big boat. But when Noah was finished, God told Noah to go into the ark with his family. And God told Noah to bring two of every animal, one male and one female. And then they were told to close up the boat because God was going to send rain onto the earth. God told Noah that he was going to send a lot of rain, enough rain to wipe out all the wicked people from the earth. There was going to be a big flood. Noah did everything God asked him to do. He built a big boat. He brought his family on. He brought two of every animal. And then, a week later... It started raining and it rained and it rained and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights it rained and then one day it stopped raining Noah and his family they opened up the door and they looked out and it looked like they were in the middle of the ocean they couldn't see any land anywhere God had sent a big flood. God had done what he'd said he would do. He'd gotten rid of all the evil people, all the wicked people who lived on earth. You see, God doesn't like when people do the wrong thing. It really upsets him, so God sent a flood to wipe out all the bad things from the world. But God saved Noah because Noah was righteous. He did the right thing. Now, like we said, he wasn't perfect. But he tried to do the right thing. He tried to do what God asked him to do. But even after the flood, there was still a problem. Noah still did the wrong thing sometimes. He tried to do the right thing most of the time, but he wasn't perfect. And none of us are. We all do the wrong thing sometimes. And Noah was no different. So even though God had gotten rid of most of the bad things from the world, there was still a problem. People still did the wrong thing sometimes. People still sinned. And sin is when we do the wrong thing. It's when we disobey God. And Noah still sinned sometimes, even after the big flood. Eventually, God was going to have to send someone to fix the problem of sin.